Thank you, President Yasdami, and thank you, uh, my friend, uh, uh, President uh, Dr. Wang Binda of uh, CASPA, uh, for inviting us. Uh, come to this uh, forum, I feel uh, like come back to home, because uh, Pakistan is the first Pakistan. Our brothers and sisters here. Yeah. Also, uh, I worked in, in a tropical island called Sri Lanka for uh, three years and eight months, and not far from uh, Pakistan, and also the eighth member of uh, South Asia, the big family. So I have special feeling. I used to work near to Pakistan, uh, a brotherhood country of China. Uh, and also, Pakistan play a unique role uh, in connecting U.S. and China together uh, after the, the Cold War. And during the Cold War, uh, you know, uh, it is uh, Pakistan's president uh, to help uh, Henry Kissinger uh, to uh, transfer from your capital to visit China after me, Joe and I. And also, just now, uh, your president told me that when he was uh, a pupil in elementary school. Uh, he joined thousands of uh, students to welcome President Joe and I's visit. So that's uh, uh, the brotherhood beauty. And also, uh, today's topic is uh, uh, OBOR, the Belt and Road Initiation, uh, which uh, Pakistan uh, Corridor is one of the important part but in fact, during the Cold War time, during the difficult time, Pakistan and China already uh, cooperated together to, to, uh, in the area of uh, uh, construction uh, connectivity, uh, including the, the famous road across the, the mountain. Uh, Pakistani uh, workers and Chinese workers uh, worked together shoulder by shoulder and conquered so uh, many uh, technology difficulties to build the road. Uh, and, uh, I just uh, watched a, a documentary video about uh, the opening ceremony of that uh, road. Uh, at the beginning, uh, the, the Chinese workforce and the Pakistani workforce uh, sitting uh, Separately, but uh, then they decide that they should one road is Pakistani workers, one road is Chinese workers. They should uh, show, sit together, shoulder by shoulder, and that's also a, a symbol that uh, uh, also the symbol of uh, uh, our relationship, our friendship, and uh, also we are great uh, appreciate Pakistanis. Uh, uh, cooperation and support of uh, uh, China's position in the international community. So let's back to the topic, uh, the OBOR, uh, the uh, 21st century maritime, uh, maritime Silk Road and the Silk Road uh, economic belt which connect uh, uh, East Asia, beginning from China with Central Asia, with Southeast Asia, uh, with uh, Southern Asia, and uh, with Eastern Europe, uh, Central Europe, until to Western Europe. Uh, that's uh, uh, Euro-Asia continent, and connecting all the 60 countries. Uh, our President Xi Jinping initiated it uh, in the 2013, already five years past. Uh, we call it uh, uh, an initiation made by China, but uh, constructed and uh, benefit everybody. It is only China to initiate, but China will not uh, monopolize this uh, project, project. And China cannot afford to invest all the money to so many different countries. We want to cooperate with everybody. We are happy that uh, five years passed. Uh, already there are some 
uh, uh, quite a lot of uh, uh, project on, under construction already begin and even finished. Uh, take uh, the pa Pakistani corridor, uh, for instance. You know that uh, if uh, we regard this uh, initiation as a, uh, a big uh, kick, we believe Pakistan and Pakistan cooperation with China, Pakistan uh, holds a lion's share, uh, a big share, because the investment on the, uh, in the Pakistan corridor is uh, 46 billion US dollars. Imagine 46 billion US dollars, and mainly uh, on infra infrastructure uh, construction. Uh, I read all the list, also to my surprise, uh, there are so many projects, uh, mainly on uh, energy and electricity, that's one category, and others on road and uh, railroad, and the third is on port. Uh, so, uh, as the uh, uh, Chinese uh, saying goes, when you want to be rich, you first to build the roads. And uh, also the concept of uh, one belt and one road is that if you want to be richer, you must uh, to cooperate uh, with your uh, neighbors. You, want, you must help your neighbor to be rich so that you can do business with your neighbor. Uh, that's why in the past 40 years, uh, China uh, involved in the world uh, community and joined WTO and China's economic uh, maintained 9% uh, uh, of uh, economic uh, growth. Uh, right now we are uh, the GDP in 20, uh, 201, we are only one tenth, one ninth of the US. But right now we are 60% of the US. But uh, in terms of uh, per capita uh, income, we are per capita GDP, we are still low. Uh, so there is a long way to go uh, to uh, develop China. And we want to share our market 1.3 billion and Chinese people market uh, and uh, 500 uh, million middle class uh, market uh, with uh, the rest of the world. We know that uh, you are, many of you, a majority of you are elite uh, of uh, the IT and industry, Google, uh, Microsoft, uh, Cisco and others, and Apple. Uh, so many of you, uh, some of you visit China. One of my friends that he visit China, uh, Shanghai a library, and one of the, your president work for, for Google, uh, and uh, Google uh, buy a lot of uh, uh, equipment, semiconductors uh, to build their uh, Google Cloud. And so we are living in a, a global uh, village called Earth. Uh, China is not far. Uh, from Silicon Valley, only uh, 10 hours, 12 hours uh, by flight. So coming back to the uh, Belt and Road initiation, uh, for instance, uh, in Pakistan, in, pa uh, in, in Pakistan, uh, you know that uh, uh, South, South Asian country, uh, it's a common atmosphere that um, uh, they are suffer from the shortage of electricity. Uh, when even in the capital, uh, the, during the daytime, sometimes only several hours of electricity uh, to be provided. So uh, the Belt and Road Initiation, uh, we first focused on uh, the electricity build up. Uh, there are so many uh, projects from coal power plants, several coal power plants, to solar energy plants, to uh, hydrogen dam, the hydrogen power plant. So uh, we believe in uh, five years, ten years, when you go back to your country, uh, we hope there you will find your relatives uh, and uh, your friends are not to suffer 
from the electricity shortage. And that's uh, also common uh, 30 years ago, 35 years ago, 40 years ago, when China opened to the outside world. I also experienced uh, electricity shortage. Uh, so uh, we, do not, we want, do not want uh, that to be happened to our Pakistani friends. So that's uh, what we... Thank you. And also the, the uh, expressway, uh, 3,000 miles the expressway is under construction and the railroad is under construction. Uh, only 5% of uh, uh, the, the, many of the uh, managers and uh, engineers are from China, 5%. So 95% are local people, the Pakistani uh, technicians, engineers, uh, managers, and workers. So we cooperate together to create job opportunity uh, for uh, Pakistani people. And, uh, so when these people have a job, have a rice bowl, they will not go to extreme. They will not be attracted uh, by Taliban. Uh, they care more about their family. They can have food, bread to feed their, their children, to pay their uh, education. That's also a concept of uh, uh, the Belt and Road Initiation. Uh, we want uh, everybody to be rich, everybody, every country to be rich. Uh, just as uh, uh, President Xi of China in recent World War Forum, uh, he said that uh, China already opened its door to the rest of the world. We will not, we will never close our door. We will only open wider. We will buy more. We will enhance uh, intellectual property rights protection. And uh, we will allow the tariffs, uh, including uh, automobiles uh, to the US and the rest of the world. world. And we will uh, allow uh, exempt the, the share uh, share holding uh, columns the, the, for the uh, joint ventures. So uh, China, just like uh, your organization, I believe you, you choose a very good uh, name, uh, Open uh, Silicon Valley uh, Organization of Pakistan uh, Entrepreneurs uh, Network. So uh, very good, uh, just like the Chinese concept, open to everybody, uh, to cooperate very, with everybody. Uh, some other uh, outcomes of uh, the OBOR, uh, for instance, in, uh, in Africa, uh, you know the Djibouti, uh, the railroad from Djibouti to Addis Ababa, yeah, the, and also we finish another road from uh, the, the capital of uh, uh, Mon Mon Mombasa, yeah, from Mombasa to Nairobi, the, the two capital of uh, African country, Kenya. Yeah. So the people are happy, uh, and 90% of the workforce uh, are the local people, and they finish uh, with Chinese uh, counterpart in just uh, three and a half years and for the first time in their country's history after uh, the Great Britain colonists withdraw they built the first inch of uh, their uh, country's own railroad they are proud and so when you build the railroad you, all people use it uh, when you build the expressway uh, for instance in Pakistan, the A9 uh, road from Jaffna to uh, to the capital uh, Colombo uh, during the war time is a very damaged road. So, but uh, after the war, uh, China, uh, the the how to say, uh, China uh, learn the looms to. This country and built the A9 road. Uh, I'm very happy to, to travel several times uh, from Colombo to Jaffna, uh, the wall damaged area by the 
LTTE. Uh, on the road, the rich people can use this road. Uh, they can drive. And uh, the poor people also can use the road. Uh, they ride the bicycle. And Jaffna Mongol, Mongol uh, travel from uh, Jaffna to Colombo Market in just uh, uh, three hours, uh, three, four hours. But before that, it takes the whole day, 12, 12 hours. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, the example. Uh, and also, people maybe worry about that uh, you, uh, China, uh, and Pakistan cooperate with the, uh, the building and manage of uh, Gwadar, Gwadar port, uh, and uh, worry about uh, uh, Pakistan is suffer from uh, over uh, overloaded to, to, to buy uh, a lot of loan from, from China. Uh, I can uh, tell you that uh, uh, no matter uh, what, uh, how to say, how to it's a win-win situation. For instance, in in Pakistan, uh, after the war. Uh, China and uh, uh, not Pakistan, uh, in Sri Lanka. Sorry, in Sri Lanka after the war, uh, we built the Colombo Southern Containers Harbor. Uh, it is owned by uh, Sri Lanka, but only uh, operated by a Chinese company, and only uh, ten percent of the managers is from China. Ninety percent is uh, uh, are from uh, the local people. So uh, the sovereignty, of course, belongs to, to uh, Sri Lanka and also Hambantota. Hambantota, the first phase finished, second phase finished, and third phase is under construction. People also worry about that's a white elephant. Uh, Sri Lanka bought too much money from China. Uh, will China? take uh, this uh, port as a colony. In fact, it's, that will not happen. Although it's uh, 99 years uh, uh, terms of uh, management and uh, operation, this port still belongs to Sri Lanka. Uh, Chinese warship will not enter the port without the permit of Sri Lanka. Only by visiting uh, when they uh, escort us the oil and other countries' uh, cargo ship along the Indian Ocean. So don't worry about that. Uh, also, the uh, belt and the road initiation, uh, people may ask uh, where the money come from. Uh, in fact, uh, we have already uh, established some uh, financial support organizations such as uh, Silk Road Foundation, uh, such as uh, uh, AIIB, uh, Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, and also Chinese uh, governmental loans to this, this country. Uh, mainly, we not only cooperate with this uh, international uh, financial organization, but also uh, with uh, uh, the local uh, government through bilateral uh, agreement. Uh, in the past uh, uh, five years, uh, already we signed the bilateral uh, agreement of, of cooperation with uh, uh, the Belt and Road countries, uh, over 60 countries. And also uh, we uh, over 100 countries and international organizations, uh, international organizations support, show their support and interest to cooperate with China uh, at the OBOR uh, initiation. So by uh, the infrastructure, construction, uh, cooperation, by the national development strategy coordination, by the cultural uh, exchanges, education exchanges along the road, 
uh, we believe we can make uh, Euro-Asia continent a better place uh, to live. Imagine that uh, right now China uh, have over uh, one one hundred and sixty uh, one hundred one uh, one only one. Uh, Sixty percent of the world total uh, high speed uh, railroad uh, and uh, over one million uh, expressways. In, right now, travel in China uh, is quite convenient uh, uh, compared with 40 years ago. 40 years ago, when my boss, uh, Consul General Luo, uh, traveled from his hometown to go to uh, university uh, from mid China to Beijing. It took him 18 hours uh, by train. No seat. You have to stand. Uh, if somebody go to went to the, the, the restroom and uh, you can see five minutes, uh, you'll be happy. You'll be happy. But right now, from his home to Beijing, uh, you can see there uh, with the smartphone, uh, and uh, it took only four hours from Shanghai to uh, Beijing, only four and a four and a half. So that could be happened in everywhere in Asia, in Pakistan, in uh, Sri Lanka, in Turkey. Yeah, that's uh, the result of uh, the Belt and Road initiation. So it's time to finish. I'm happy to uh, answer uh, any questions. Thank you.